and hello everybody hello hello uh welcome to the stream hope you're having a fantastic uh whatever it is that wednesday yeah wednesday and here we are here we are so welcome back uh hope you all have a good time and yeah so we've been playing uh kindergarten we played kindergarten oops sorry uh we played kindergarten last week on saturday sunday and we like beat beat that game a lot faster than i thought we would i don't think it would take only two streams however there is still another thing left uh to do in this game and that's to get all these uh trading cards and then you get like a secret extra ending sort of is what happens uh and that's what we're gonna do tonight and it's pro i have guides open so it's probably not gonna take very long you know it'll probably only be a little while and then we'll just do a chill stream as we usually do on Wednesdays. And then Friday, Saturday, I think maybe just we immediately go into Kindergarten 2. I mean, I think that game will last longer than two streams by far. Pretty sure that one is much longer. Maybe not like humongously longer, but uh, something like that. But yeah, so I hope you all have a good time. Having a good and uh, chill Wednesday. And uh, let's get try to get into the game here. Oh boy. Oh, y'all been doing well last week? This last week? So mad if my sound isn't working. There we go. Yep, it is capturing. All right. Times 12? <laughs> the magical airship card. No one knows where it takes its passengers because none of them have ever returned. That sucks. The Eye of the Butt Holder card. The art for this card is just zoomed in off of the back of a cat. Oh god. Alright. So, let's take a look at which ones you don't have Saul. Okay, Martian Orb Man. We have a guide for Martian Orb Man. So, one's a bit so we have to do the teacher's quest as normal but don't do not buy the yo-yo all right i don't know what we need for the teacher's quest sorry about the the sound cutting in and out this is one of those games where like if i'm uh, alt tabbed it just turn the sound just turns off so i'm sorry about that so we just, uh, we want to do Miss Applegate's thing. God, this is, uh, confusing. Oh god, this is very complicated. Holy shit. We need to get money. At the very least. Let me read this again. Tell Miss Applegate about bugs. To fight him, provoke him until you call the teacher, you get gold star. Okay, then do... Okay, then we do... Okay, alright. I don't know what we need for the teacher's quest. Uh, I guess I'll just... I won't bother with anything. Right. The thing? Do the thing. Brian Cat. Yay, kitty cat. Very good. Stupid rat. Yeah, then we do the thing with Cindy. Uh, I'll say maybe we could. Okay. So, let's look at the skin. I don't need to have the pause screen if I'm tabbed down. Right. Oragne cats are legitimately the dumbest. I mean, it kind of seems that way. I did watch a, uh, a cat doc a little bit uh, with uh, that Jackson Galaxy, and he was like, I don't really know where this meme of orange cats being dumb came from, because, like, the only orange cat he had ever owned was actually not stupid. <laughs> okay. Right, okay, so we buy the voice recorder. Right, I remember now. Okay. 
I don't need anything else. Do this stupid ship. Talk to her again. No! There we go. All right. <laughs> you little parasite. This nonsense. No, Bugs, we are not going to see you at recess. I'm going to stab you to death. But to deny, yes. Or to the incident. Okay. Right. Why don't you... Right, right. Okay, let's look at this again. Uh, okay, so. We do this quest as normal for the teacher, but we do not buy the yo-yo immediately. By morning, you should talk to Jerome after the teacher asks about his pet. Tell the teacher. not cool enough for him. I hate how obsessed he is with being cool. You're going to have to win the little monster over. Maybe see if you can gift him something. Like what? Ah, I see. Okay. Auntie might have something. Might have something. Little weasel has a bit of... Little, little weasel has a bit of everything. There should... There could be something in the cubbies, too. I'm willing to turn my back if you want to do some snooping. Got it. Okay. I'll just... You just grab shit from this. That's funny. Okay, now so we grab the knife and buy the yo-yo. Okay, that's funny. Wow, you just talk. I didn't realize you could just talk to the teacher and just take shit. But okay, let's get the yo-yo now. Anything else? Okay, tell the teacher. She let you look at the cubbies. Grab the knife, buy the yo-yo, continue the quest. Okay, hold on. Let me bring the hall pass. Yes, okay, all right, all right. Yo-yos? Do I do? I can do that. Got it. I'm ready to go distract her. Here's his hall pass. I got a pass from Jerome. I knew it. And we've seen this before. Stupid rat. Wonder if uh, the dad does kill his own son. That's funny. If that is a thing. Time recess starts. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So. Talk to Nugget. Yeah. Alright, we're continuing. Yes. Okay. Eat the Nugget. Okay. Okay, go to lunch. Is this the one where we're going to be stabbing bugs, though? Oh! Oh, God! Okay. Okay, so th here's where it becomes new, I, I believe. Here is another nugget. It is quite similar to the one you just ate, only this one is far more potent. Just get Bugs to eat it. Just give me the antidote. Not until Bugs is poisoned. I'll have to take it from you, then. Nugget does not believe you possess the strength to take it. Go do as Nugget asks and all will be well. Stab Nugget. Ouch! This hurts Nugget quite a lot. Nugget wishes you hadn't done that. How are you still alive? Nugget is quite durable. Nugget is also missing that side of his brain, so the knife didn't hit anything necessary. Great. Nugget does not appreci does appreciate the effort, though. Now please go poison bugs. What the fuck? Okay. 
Stab, stab him, get the antidote. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, hold on, we can reset, restart the room. Uh, yeah. We don't, we don't actually stab Nugget. I'm, I'm being dumb. Okay. Stab. Wah! Enjoy that, fatty. <laughs> get the antidote. Go get Monty eliminated. Okay. No, I stabbed him. Oh my, how messy. Still, the job was completed. You may have the antidote as Nugget promised. Take the antidote. Nugget hopes you feel better. Talk to Monty. Get him eliminated. The biscuit wrong. Yep, now he gets uh, his ass kicked. Almost for gore. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry about it. A long time. Get Monty eliminated, and get outside and go where bugs crawled. Okay. How do I... Oh, here we go. Can I go to the bathroom? Oh, yeah, right. The glasses. I'm stupid. I am stupid. For gore! Poor Bugs! It looks like he was trying to get something from underneath this tile. Interesting. A secret stash! There's a Monster Mon card! Along with money. Take the card. I'll take the money. So, honestly, like, I don't care about anything else. We're just going to
I was muted this entire time for 18 minutes. I was muted for... Was I muted for 18 minutes? No? Oh. Huh. Weird. Okay. Just now? I don't know how that would have possibly happened. I, I didn't touch the, that part of my keyboard, so I don't know why that happened. Hints. Okay. That's weird. Either that or you were silent. Oh, it could have just been me being silent. Technically. Jaren will give you a long man of the arm to show him hall pass. Okay, this one is going to be hard because we were trying it last time and it wasn't going very well. So, we want man with long arm. Do Jerome's quest, but instead of going to the closet, go to the bathroom and talk to the janitor until he asks about the pass. Okay. Wow, I, I'm not gonna lie, I seriously have no fucking idea. I seriously have no fuck-ass idea how that would... Why it would mute when I don't even touch it. Like, that's so strange. Maybe when you switched from guide to the game? Yeah, but that has nothing to do with, uh... Like, I have a hotkey for muting myself, so I have no idea what the fuck... How that would change anything. Okay, Jerome's quest. Okay. I can do that. So we have to do a very specific series of sentences. What's in those bags? Those bags, it's bleeding. Those bags. It's bleeding. How did that judgment get passed down riveting? I'm morbidly curious. Okay, for me to see the bloody bag, a nickel won't cut it. Okay. Nickel won't cut it. A nickel won't cut it. Threat threatened to tell. Applegate is expecting me. Show pass. Okay. Is she now? Whether I'm sure you have one of her bathroom passes? Yes, I do. <laughs> you think you're so clever, don't you? You didn't get this pass from Applegate. No, these passes are only given out by the boss. You got this from the principal's boy, right? All right, that's, I believe. That's right, I don't care, cool. All right, that's right. I knew it. Speaking of that little devil, I swiped his laser thingy this morning. Say, is that what this is about? You're here to get his laser thingy back? I don't really care, I just wanted the pass. <laughs> Clever kid. You know what? I like you. You could have this silly card thing I nicked from that fat kid. Cool, thanks. Good, now skedaddle. All right. Oh, I can't spend apples out here. Okay. Couldn't get it. Thanks for nothing. Yeah, I don't care. I have a Monster Mon card, motherfucker. Just obliterate everything and just straight to the end of the day. Who cares? We're good. I like how she says, we'll just skip you, even though you already told everybody what you brought. Hey, at least everyone survived except Billy. And with long arm. All right, cool. This is the man with long arm card. A freak accident gave his arm incredible length, but took it from somewhere else. That's actually kind of interesting. That's like, it sounds like parody lore, but it actually does sound interesting. I 
I have Doom Jelly, but it says I don't in the hints, which is stupid. The principal will give you spiky flim flam if you tell him you were fighting with Billy over Monstermon cards. <laughs> what? This guy, let's go looking for spiky flim flam. Bug nugget about Billy until being sent to the office and talking to the principal will say that you were and Billy were friends, but you got into a fight over car. Okay, this one's easy. Not gonna get money, not gonna get nothing. Get sent to the principal's office. All right. Okay. Who told you that? I'm not sad. I'm not. Who told you that? I'm not sad. I'm not. Okay. Billy and I were friends. Got into a fight. Okay. Billy and I were friends. We're friends? What do you mean, we're friends? We had a fight. A fight? What were you fighting over? Monstermon cards. Ugh. I hate those infernal cards. Sometimes I take away Jerome so he's being awful. Heh. Would I be a bad dad if I gave you one of his to annoy him? Yes. Doesn't matter. Take one anyway. Just don't tell him if you got it from me. Now let's just put this whole thing behind us. Go on back to class. Okay. That's funny. Okay. What happens if I try to stand directly in front of Lily when she does this? Something weird happen? Oh, she passes through the wall! Okay, alright. Okay, game. <laughs> and I show and tell a card. Yep. Fortunately, I did not show and tell Omniscience into play. They killed Billy, you bastards! I don't know why I'm, like, paranoid of, of somehow getting accidentally muted again. Indirectly. <laughs> Which is stupid, but... This is the spiky flim flam card. Its flim is far sharper than its flam. <laughs> okay, game. <laughs> Lunch lady will give you uneaten cake if she thinks you went through three helpings of slop. Oh boy. Uneaten cake. During lunch, ask for slop, throw it away, and repeat until you get the card. Oh, that is that is so preposterously easy. Am I muted? Did I mute myself? No. Okay, just throw the slop away until she gives us... So we just basically use all of our apples on this. My word! Even Bugs doesn't eat my slop with such enthusiasm. It's delicious. I think you've earned something special. My way of saying thank you for appreciating the slop. Here's a Monstermon card. Thanks. Now go and finish that slop. And don't worry, I'll be serving it again tomorrow. Yippee. I was late. How goes finishing off this game? We, only, we don't have many cards left. I'm gonna show the slop off. I can't actually believe we make you kids eat that stuff. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to pass a drug test after eating that. Anyway, who's next? <laughs> Yay, we got a card. I like all these days where I'm just selling all my apples and then everybody is walking out like nothing, like everything is fine <laughs> and normal. Like, if you don't talk to anybody in this game, nothing ever happens, and everyone has a normal day, except that Billy is gone, you know? 
does that mean that our character is the catalyst behind all of the bullshit that happens in the game? Whoa. This is the uneaten cake card. Looks like your mom didn't show up at the party. What? I'm not sure what that joke means. Is that like your mom is a whore joke? Like, what? What? <laughs> you buy Holy Knight from Monty during recess. This one is easy if you know what to do. The easiest way is to bring $3 to school, buy yo-yo, do Jerome's quest, but grab five in the box. When the bell rings, leave in the lunch. Lunch, sell the pass to Monty for $5. Doesn't need... Okay. Okay, uh... Alright. What? Well, the character is the agent of chaos within the universe, yes. Yeah, shut the fuck up, bugs. I know, hurry up. So, I have to read this again. Buy the Yo-Yo Do Jerome's Quest, okay. How many left now? Two or is the big one in the middle also counting? I'm not... I don't know. <laughs> like, the, the small ones we had left, I think we only have two. Tell everything else. We'll do Jerome's quest. Get the money. Get the money. Take the money. I already have this card, but I'm taking it anyway. Get the money. Couldn't get it. Oh. Shit. Okay. Um... Restart room. Sell two apples. Okay. Okay. Oh! No, 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 restart the room. Sell one apple. There we go. So now? The money? Get the money. All right, we got the money. Yep. Now we go to lunch. Okay. Cool. All right, so we have the pass. We sell the pass to Monty. All pass. Nice. Okay. Got that. And... Oh, you just buy it for a minute recess. Okay. Monster Mon card. Oh, yeah. This is the Holy Knight card. Pretty powerful in the world of Monster Mon. It'll run you $15. Bro... If this is, like, just child inflation, that makes sense. But I'm also seeing this, and I'm like, god damn. There are, there are actual Magic the Gathering cards that people will pay $15 for. And that's just... It, it's just sad when I think about it, you know? 
pleasure doing business with you. Anything else? Fifty bucks is on the low end too. I mean, well, yeah, but like the, the more expensive it is, the more uncommon it is. But there's 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 still like numerous numbers of cards that are absolutely fifteen dollars. Holy night! All right. So we have place of the one ring will run like 400 bucks yep and it's like half the meta in modern yeah literally i don't see any downside of ever running the one ring other than you dying to it but like there's so many ways to synergize with it but it's just, it's like it's kind of doesn't matter the holy knight card you would have been a priest but then he found out they aren't allowed to court women <laughs> oh, that's funny. That was actually funny. Based Holy Knight. <laughs> Wall of Castle could be found in the trash can in the principal's office. Ah, yes. Okay. That should be easy. Wow, that was all my money. There's a Lego shop in the mall in Armada. Aramada. There's lots of massive $400 sets of loader and whatnot. Yeah, Legos are... That's the thing, though, right? Legos? I assume that they're really expensive because they do take a lot to manufacture. Uh, whereas Magic the Gathering cards are just ink and cardboard. <laughs> You know, so like, I can believe those Legos. I think they're ridiculously expensive, but I can still believe that there that there is a universe where it makes sense. Whereas in in trading card games, cards get like so expensive because they're just so desired or they're so limited in number, even though they're all just cardboard, you know? Like what? No way. I won't. Okay. You're so mean. How would you do that? I'm not apologizing. Town Hall, there's also a two-story toy shop where there's big Gundam kits and all those card game packs and figurines. I don't understand anything in there, but the but the only Kirby is like one shelf. Oh. I wonder if any of my cards are literally worth their weight in gold. I mean, sometimes you go and you just randomly find out you have a card worth way too much money that you had no idea. That happened to me recently. I was going through my bulk, like, last month or something. And, like, I randomly found a, a thing where I placed... Oh, wait a minute. I have to go... Oh, wait. This is the wrong... Oh, I'm stupid. This is the wrong way to do this. I need to, um, do Nugget. But, like, I was going through my bulk... And as it turned out, I had an original, like, M19 copy of Liliana of the Dark Realms. And, like, at the time, I looked it up and it was, like, $22. And I was like, excuse me? How the fuck did this happen? <laughs> uh, right, let's, uh, nugget. Do the nugget thing. There's also a big chocolate store you'd like, maybe. It's high-end chocolate. Rag bought dark chocolate coffee pieces when we went. Interesting. I do like chocolate. For a friend. He had a fight. Monster Mon cards. Oh, it's M14? Whatever. What? 
Whichever is what, like the 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 fucking uh, four set version of Lilian of the Dark Realms. Coincidentally, I think it's probably like the hottest art that has ever been printed of that character as well. <laughs> and then the reprint they did for Bloomboro, she's a fucking squirrel. <laughs> I think that I think that Bloomboro print probably lowered the price of M the of my M141 maybe below $15, maybe below $10, but I was just shocked that I randomly in my bulk found that I had a bunch of planeswalkers and one of them was a fucking Liliana of the Dark Realms. I was like, what the fuck? Take the card. Now I have two cards. I remember when we went there that day, there was a soup company doing promos, so I ended up like four packages of stock. I used to have Liliana Tribal in a mono black deck. Oh, oh well. I'd like a commander deck? Be like, uh... Is that... I don't see a thing wrong with that. Sell everything. We go to the end of the game now. What is veggie version of this Liliana? Well, okay, so like, um... In Bloomboro, where all the characters are cute animals, she, uh, Liliana... Her card, she isn't literally in the setting. It's just like an aesthetic reprint. Uh, but in that reprint of her of that particular card, she's a squirrel. <laughs> and normally, this is like this 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 mega goth necromancer woman, and then she's a squirrel necromancer. <laughs> I don't know what veggie she would transform into if Bloomboro was about veggies. Why didn't they make her a spider? Man, so here's the problem. One of the things about Bloomboro that sort of disappointed me is that there's quite a lot of furry, cute animal, fur like furred and feathered, cute little animals, but there's like no bugs. There's like no insects. There's no spiders, and it really made me realize how much I wanted like a Hollow Knight type magic set where where it's it's just everything is some sort of bug you know like a bloomberg like bloomboro but it's all bugs spiders scorpions centipedes insects it would be it would be sick it'd be so fucking cool all right new this is the wall of castle card too often walls get overshadowed by castles they protect well not this time <laughs> Okay, okay, so okay, so when I say they don't have bugs, what I mean is that the cards themselves don't mechanically feature creatures that are bugs. Um, a lot of the card art shows like bugs that are, are are in the world, right? They're in the environment. They're in the world. It's just they they didn't print any cards that have any of those bug types, right? They put they well, okay, they did print like a Hollow, I forget, I don't remember what it's called, like Hollowhesk hive thing, whatever the fuck. They did technically print an elemental insect that's like a giant mass of bees, but that's like one of the only ones, right? Which card do you think Moon would, Moonworm would be good for? What do you mean like color or something? Like, I'm not sure what you mean by what card would be good for her. Oh, shit. Oh shit, it's gonna it's about to get real, guys. I don't know if I need this. Like if I'd repainted a card and added moonworm to it. Oh my god. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know why this is, but like fantasy worms in Magic the Gathering, this probably has some sort of uh bearing upon uh like real life mythology in some fashion, but worms and Magic the Gathering are like their own creature type, and they're always these gigantic fucking worms. Like think sandworms from Dune. Like every single time we have worms in Magic the Gathering, they're giant fucking colossal building-sized worms. And so there actually are quite a few worms in Magic the Gathering. You could even say that they're like like, sort of a supported creature type in the fact that almost every set that ever comes out has at least 
one worm that is printed into it. So, like, which worm would Moonworm be good to print on? That's actually a hard question because there's so many worms that are crazy. There's World Spine Worm. There's Pan Glacial Worm. Oh, God. What's that worm? What's that worm with Convoke? It's like this, it's this Selesnia Worm. Is it like Gatebreaker Worm or some shit? Moonworm could have sisters, sure. And of course, there's also Worm Coil Engine. That's probably the most fa that's probably the most famous worm of all time, because it's specifically a machine worm. That's that's also like a it, it's a Im impervious great worm. Yes, I love that. Yeah, I like that one a lot. That one's art is so cool. And then Worm Coil Engine is is a is this Phyrexian machine. It's this machine worm, and when you destroy it, it turns into two smaller worms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but okay, I got my, let's let okay. Moonworm, moonsawn worm, uh, gloomworm, vroomworm, loomworm. <laughs> I think world spine worm is definitely not the most famous worm, but it might be probably like the strongest conceptually because it's this giant creature. When you kill it, it turns into three smaller versions, <laughs> similarly to worm coil engine, but like well more than twice as expensive. Uh, to, to play in the game, not buy with money. Broomworm can be the engine worm. <laughs> oh, goodness. I mean, it, if you go looking up the art for Worm Coil Engine, like, you're gonna know what I mean in the sense that it is like, a, it is a, it is a monstrosity. It is so fucking cool <laughs> that the idea of veggieing the Worm Coil Engine is so fucking, that kind of, <laughs> that's so... That's kind of like mind blowing in a meme fashion in my brain right now, because it's like it is like the quintessential worm in people's minds because it is the most horrifying of all the worms. And it's so it's such a powerful, efficient card itself that can go in any deck because it, it doesn't take colored mana. But OK, take the cards. I've noticed that when we do these card game shit in these stupid ass fucking in, the, in these games that have random card mechanics, I always end up ranting about card games in real life. Art co colorless artifacts are pretty strong uh, in, you know, when they are available to every color, yeah. I have a talent for ruining cool things. You didn't ruin Cultivator Colossus. I thought that was a very interesting take on Cultivator Colossus where its power is so big because it's reaching across the universe to grab, like, all the land and draw power from it like Goku. Like, I thought that was... A totally fine art for Cultivator Colossus. He didn't ruin it at all, really. Okay. So, the very, very last one. Okay. Look at the hints. Bring this special item to the Nugget Cave in its true form. The Nugget Cave in its true form will cause something to happen. Okay. Okay, so we want to do Nugget's Quest. Oh, also for Cutie Vader Colossus, the leaves behind her unfurl from her back and draw an energy for more power. Yeah, because Cultivator Colossus just keeps drawing lands and lets you play them over and over and over again. Like, I think Cultivator Colossus is, like, the most famous of the plant creatures in Magic because it's a part of a fucking infinite combo deck where you basically just, uh, you basically have, like, almost all lands in your deck and then, like, four copies of Cultivator Colossus. You ramp into the lands... And then you start Cultivator Colossusing, and you just you just draw your entire deck. <laughs> because you make it, if you make your entire deck lands, then Cultivator Colossus just keeps putting them on the battlefield over and over and over. Like, over and over and over. <laughs> and you can just make it go all the way until you have no cards in your library, and then, you know, do whatever, do whatever combo kill you want with that, you know. It's, it's actually very appropriate. I love drawing my whole deck. Oh, I got money? Oh, okay, I don't care. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> the plant defender ones that are glowing wands allow them to create temporary force fields by jabbing the air. That's my lore. Yes, I like it. And and yeah, yeah, that that plant is generally used as a defense as just a blocker, right? So that works totally fine. I'll be your friend. I have friendship. Do not consume. 
the nugget of friendship. For with this digestion, so too is our friendship digested. I won't. Good, Nugget. We'll see you later, friend. No more talking now. Shoo. Hello, Nugget. Broomworm can get energy like a yellow Pikmin, but being attracted to shiny things and eating the electricity, which makes her glow more. Sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, so, like, what I'm kind of wondering, though, in my... Because here's the thing. The thing about Worm Coil Engine is that it splits into two, into two smaller versions of itself when it's destroyed. And so in my head, I'm kind of wondering how you could rationalize how that would work for your version of the uh, Broom Worm. Like, it's splitting into two smaller versions of itself. Okay. Magnifying glass. I don't read the cards when I draw, I just make shit up. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm, well, then I'm informing you. <laughs> Consider this an infographic. Okay, we're gonna just use him. Do get the magnifying glass. And he's gonna be all pissy. Get over here, kid. Blew it. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. Do I always have to just. Okay. Okay, this is sweet. Okay, all right, hold on. I made a mistake. You can't. You don't befriend Nugget at the beginning. It's not a thing you do. First half of Room Room will. Uh, beam a pulse of her electricity to the second half. That will let it switch ahead onto itself and become a sister. Aha! Okay, okay. But no, we actually want to uh, start with the teacher's quest. No, it would be hilarious if there was a card with a human city and a giant veggie looking down on them. <laughs> that would be funny. There's probably plenty of cards in Magic that could, like, evoke that that sort of thing. Like, Annex. Annex is just a blue spell, and it's just you take control of target land. <laughs> That's how Hibanistan was formed. <laughs> then again, there's also like a lot of lands you might want to put like art of Hibanistan on. I don't know. Might as well buy the yo-yo now. Oops. The last one.
I should reference Hibanistan in the manga, like him daydreaming about the idea or explaining his world domination plans. Ridiculous. Yes, I agree. You want to be friends. Okay, normally, yes, yes. If beat this nugget, that's it. How do you start the nugget of friendship quest? Am I ever... Am I completely stupid? Do I have to go and look back at the nugget of friendship nonsense? Okay, visit Nugget at Recess. Nugget Cave, here we go. Are Nuggets even soft enough for this to make sense? Oh, come on. Okay, uh, come on. How, do, how does this how does this work? What have I done? Okay, what a, what a, what mistake have I made? What have I done? Uh, my brain! I brought the collection. To the Nugget Cave in its true form. Oh god, oh. Do I, okay, hold on. What does this fucking mean? Hold on. Uh. A sign? Okay, let's look at the sign here. Okay, the problem with the sign be a tuck tuck card in this game. There's a tuck tuck card in Magic the Gathering. Ah, no World of Horror. Don't worry, we're going to play World of Horror once I stop being a fucking dumbass and figure out what I'm doing here. In fact, I'm gonna hold go I'm gonna sit forward a bit. Yeah. God damn it. Oh, ask him about the sign. Okay, yes. I cannot ask him about the sign. Okay, I've fucked up something fundamentally. So. Okay, hold on. How the fuck? Okay, let's just do Nugget's quest. Go to Monty, buy yo-yo. Oh, we get the flower. Okay. We need the flower for this. Okay, let's try to do Nugget's Quest. Uh, you're right. I, 
hate when my brain devolves into just working on a guide and when it's a sign and there's it's one of the games that freezes upon looking up stuff. Get the yo-yo, talk to Cindy, show it to Lily to gain her trust. Talk to Cindy. Then we go to Nugget. All right. I will be your friend. Flower. Yes. Nugget of friendship. Get Jerome to distract her, and then we will get the nugget. Nug club. Nug club. Oh no, it's the letter. Oh no, oh no. No. Oh, so cringe. I feel so bad for Nugget. We all read this last week, though. That was mortifying. Please go away. Oh, he said it's something about, uh, go to, yeah, we just go to cafeteria now. Okay. Yep. Death. Yeah. <laughs> it was a weird poem. <laughs> Donut as an apology. Talk to Nugget again. We get, we're going to get Lily in trouble for doing this. Actually, can we make her walk away from this? No, okay. Nugget, you fucking moron. Our plan get, got Lily massacred. You like donuts? Yeah. Give, give her the donut. I'm ready. Oh, 
Okay, we don't have a bunch of shit in the way. We can actually look at the sign now. Ah, uh, yes, the mysterious sign of ominous. It's ominousness. It says that he who bring 25 talismans release the greatest of all evils upon the world. Present the talismans. You have the 25 talismans? This is unprecedented. Why is the ground shaking? Never mind that. Nugget and his friend must ascend. Nugget and his friend must... Watch what happens! Ascend with Nugget. What's going on out here? The sky has turned red! Oh, that's actually happening. I thought it was just the pills. Hey, why do you have your gun out? The sky's turning red! It could be an emergency! What are you going to do? Shoot the sky? Miss Applegate, I don't feel so good. Can I go to the net? Oh, goodness, I think the red sky is an answer to my prayers. Do Monty next. Hey, what the hell? I didn't do nothing. Hell yeah, now do Jerome. What? No, Dad, stop her. I don't think she has any say in what... Ah! Whoa, I thought that was going to be me. So what now? Are we all going to die? It appears so. All the child kidnapping and pill dealing and for what? All for the apocalypse to come and ruin it all. What are you talking about? I'll tell you when you're older. Well, actually, I won't... I won't cons- Actually, I won't, considering the situation. Well, Mr. Sweepy, it looks like this is the end. Lord knows I wouldn't want to clean this mess up anyway. It is done. You killed everyone. Nugget did no such thing. Nugget and Nugget's friends are still alive. So what now? Now? Well, Nugget can no longer learn at this school, so it seems we must travel to another school. What are you talking about? Another school! We must go to another school, and we must do it all again, only bigger and better! Do what again? Kindergarten! Nugget must do kindergarten again at a new school! Kindergarten too. I'm going home. Nugget respects that, but Nugget's friend will also have to change schools! Nugget will see you there! Bye, Nugget! <laughs> just walk off the recess. Nugget would like to thank you for joining him for kindergarten. Welcome. Farewell. Finish the game. Yay! We ended the fucking world by collecting the Monster Mon cards. It's actually a lot more exciting in the second game because they have like their own little mini game where you get to play an actual card game. I don't remember the end. I don't remember the Monster Mon ending for the second game, but I remember that that's one of the ways it works out. But okay, everyone. Uh, we're not done with the stream, but we are switching. So. Oh boy. Yes, 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 yes.